Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Look at that blue skies. Wow, I love it. It is plus two here in Port McMurray today. Absolutely beautiful, but lots of ice around. <laughs> oh my world. So, of course, my daughter won't let me walk with all this ice. So I have to drive my truck. Yikes. But my world, is it ever beautiful. I was noticing, like, you look over there in my neighbor's yard, hardly any snow. Oh, I hope we're not gonna get in trouble this year. The ground being so dry. Ooh, -hoo. yeah, folks. It's nothing but a worry now this time of year again because um, try not to worry because God says don't worry. But you just feel that in your bones. Is, uh, trying to think positive though. <laughs> but after 2016 and the Fort McMurray wildfire, it's kind of hard. When you know you got a government that you soon would burn Fort McMurray to the ground. Because they want to give up. You're using oil and stuff like that. So you know they're going to do their darndest to uh, try to destroy Fort McMurray. really like I never ever worried before I've lived here for 40 years in Port McMurray and over 40 years actually and it's never been something that I ever worried about until the last couple of years and I mean as you've seen on my video probably a couple days ago when I took a ride out to Tower Road that that uh, video where I went to Cano College, the long one um, the devastation that's out there like all the trees that we lost and everything it's, it's heartbreaking and you know it took years here for people to get their homes rebuilt and to move back in and some of the lives were never ever the same and the community lost so much. So many businesses closed up shop and never ever returned. It took a long time for the businesses that were here to even get back on their feet again. Not to mention the people in the town that lost everything. and. No, the Canadian government did not help anyone here. Um, donations that were made to the community came through, uh, I can't even fully say Red Cross because Red Cross uh, money that was put here for that, of course is taken and used everywhere. They just kind of divide it all up as a, as a whatever, that's what they do doesn't always go to the community that people are really sending it to. So, but, yeah, it's a worrisome. Yeah, there were some people that did help and there was some money, but uh, not a lot. Um, when you lose, when you look at a good population, good portion of the population that lost everything. <laughs> like, I mean, it's things that you can never ever get back. 
I mean, in Abazan, the fire ripped through that and Beacon Hill like there was no tomorrow. And um, down in waterways and all, like, it was just such devastation. Anyone that goes through it, <laughs> I'll know what I mean. <laughs> And I hope nobody ever has to go through it. But I know last summer here, Canada was on fire again. And um, a lot of it was people that were setting fires that were paid by extreme groups. One of them being, you know, hmm, we won't go there. But yeah, it's just uh, nasty stuff when your own can't protect you because they're too focused on uh, the world's agenda, what is going on. It's a really sad thing. <sighs> anyway, folks, this is Shelly Delint with Shelly Delint Media. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I will, hopefully, in another month and a half, be back on the road, going around visiting different towns. Uh, so yeah, keep tuning in. <laughs> I have a lot more content coming and it looks like maybe I may be in BC this year. So we'll see. <laughs> and uh, so yeah. So anyway, as I say every day, Please go and see your moms and your dads. Don't forget. They're lonely and they need you, right? When you grow up. Uh, and love your spouses and your kids and your friends. And if you see someone today you don't know, please say hi to them and smile. You could be the only one that do. Anyway, folks, take care. God bless. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Okay, bye-bye.